Hey everybody, welcome back to Engaging the Phenomenon and welcome back to Contact Week. Uh, so uh, again, tomorrow now, December 18th, we're going to be having a uh, panel discussion regarding contact on UFO Jesus' channel. Make sure to check that out. Uh, I'm going to be making more contact videos. I wanted to make a video every day this week. Um, so seven days I missed yesterday. I'm going to try to do either two today or two tomorrow, something along those lines. And um, going forward, I'm going to be doing a lot more contact type content on the channel because I have a whole list of videos regarding contact um, and I need to get to them. So anyways, this video, uh, contact and stream entry. Um, this is a video I want to do for a long time. And this is, um, again, contact and stream entry is a bit of a hyperbolic title, but I'm, I'm using that exaggeration um, to make an important point. Um, but, but also I, it, there is relevancy, there's relevancy in, in that. So um, for people watching this, stream entry is, um, is a, a terminology Sotopana used in um, Theravadan Buddhism, and it it, it expresses um, the first of four major stages in awakening to what people would call enlightenment, so to the awakened state. So in Theravadan Buddhism, um, although there's something called the progress of insight, which I'll show a really cool map right here. Um, that's actually like 16 or 19 steps in, in that process of awakening and enlightenment. Um, there's four major stages. And um, the thing about stream entry being the first major stage is once, once you reach that stage of um, stream entry, you're, you're in the stream of awakening, so to speak. And there's basically no going back. You can never go back to the unawakened way of being according to, you know, again, this is Theravada Buddhism, uh, but I appreciate some of the underpinnings and some of the themes and philosophies here. And I'm making this talking about contacting stream entry um, because although having a contact experience actually could equate to this progress of insight map, um, my friend Daniel Engram would say, actually, it's probably the arising and passing stage, which is actually one of the very early stages uh, before stream entry. So it's like one of the first few stages, um, but it's a very explosive type awakening experience that can happen in many different ways. And it causes you to kind of be a spiritual seeker or truth seeker. Uh, so it's a, it's a subjective or it's an experience that you have that will fundamentally um, change you um so but stream stream entry is actually much more potent permanent and locked in um so the arising and passing which is really more like a contact experience for most people i, th I would map um a contact experience especially a very genuine and um uh like direct one with the arising and passing stage on the progress of insight map because it puts you on the, you know, generally if you have a true contact experience like that, you are going to be, uh, you're going to be a truth seeker from that point on. There's really no going back, but you haven't locked in that, uh, that first level awakening, which is equated to stream entry. Um, there's still all these different levels in the progress of insight, and there's actually a downside. So when you have that arising and passing, um, once you hit the passing phase, it's like you crash. So that happens to people after contact to have this kind of awakened experience. And then uh, afterwards, there's it comes down. So there's a drop in that. And um, you're not, you can be, uh, um, you can lose your, your grip on reality, so to speak. You can um, lose your, your, your grounding. You can be very floaty, prone to... Um, uh, fantasy or um, disillusionment. Um, and when, when you have the stream entry, uh, which is you go all the way from that progress of insight, 
you're, you're not going to have that. So that's why I'm equating it to the arising and passing. Although I would say that there are some contact experiences that are closer to that level of um, stream entry and you have the locked in um, awareness. But again, it's, it's very dependent on the individual. If you want to get into the thing about karma and people's karma, um, again, that's all very speculative and highly you know up for debate but the idea of the arising and passing is um you have this experience that really puts you up there to have some kind of awakening experience but then once that experience it's almost like at that peak experience fades you know even if it takes weeks or months for you to come down from that you hit on the, what's called on the progress of insight map um the dukanyanas or the dark night of the soul so even though you have this awakening experience here and you have a glimpse into the true nature of reality and things like that, if you haven't reached stream entry yet, you come down here and you're in disillusion, terror, fear, and all uncertainty and all that. And that contact can have an effect on people like that. And that's why I'm equating it to this progress of insight map because uh, I see it very relative. And it, could, it doesn't have to be just a contact experience contact a near-death experience uh, people who use medicines to have awakened states can all experience these different levels of awakening so to speak um, but nobody's ever really equated this to contact and that's why i wanted to do that because i'm uh into all the kind of uh, buddhist philosophy and stuff and i'm also into all the contact stuff very deeply um so in zen they'd call it kensho or satori again that's Zen people wouldn't say a contact experience is anything like that. Uh, but for me, peeking in all these different worlds from a kind of meta view, like meta perspective, my other channel, um, it can have similar effects. But um, again, it's more of a correlation, uh, not exact saying a contact experience is equal to Satori or a contact experience is equal to stream entry. Um, not by any means, because again, stream entry is a permanent achievement. So, um, you know, once you hit that level of stream entry, you, you don't go back. Um, so you're, you're going up the rings of awakening from there uh, to, again, the other levels of awakening, which are more extreme, I guess, in a way of, you know, in the, in the Theravadan Buddhist tradition, uh, which I find fascinating. That's why I'm making this video. But what I was talking about, the arising and passing, you can actually equate a contact experience or a peak experience directly to an arising and passing um, because it, will, it can have similar effects. So arising and passing, although it's not full, nowhere close really to the full level of stream entry, it's actually kind of early on, but uh, kundalini awakening, out-of-body experience, um, near-death experience, I would say, is a lot more extreme and can more likely bring you to stream entry, although I know Buddhists would argue with me on that. Um, but that's my opinion uh, at this point, at least. Um, but again, it's all relative to the individual, highly. Um, so some people can have an experience like that and they're just not um, on the level, you know, to have awakening. Uh, but I, actually, I think NDE, that always seems to fundamentally change people to this greater reality when you hear people talk about these paradigm shifts after having an NDE, a near-death experience, it is really, it really seems to be on the level of what people call, consider that permanent shift when they have stream entry. So I'm gonna put that closer up there, but again, for this video and for contact experiences, arising and passing, um, I think for a lot of people, a contact experience is gonna equate to something very similar to the arising and passing stage where they have this, you know, they've, they've seen through the veil of reality for the first time and they realize that there's something more. So they're now seekers on the path. That's kind of where I see contact experiences, especially pretty um, deep and direct. And, um, you know, yeah, very direct contact experiences, not just like, oh, I see a light in the sky and it's like, oh, I wonder what that is. Like you had direct contact with some kind of other intelligence and now you know that the universe is much greater. Maybe even had a, like a psychic connection with this UFO intelligence and you, and through that psychic connection, again, that's two ways. So even though 
you're receiving a message, you're in a way peering back into their understanding of reality. And I, it's actually something that I've um, talked about in some of my older videos, which is like, uh, I'm forgetting the terminology for right now, um, entrainment. So that's, you almost have an entrainment effect with contact where it's a two way street when you have that kind of connection. You know, the telepathy thing, even though you're receiving impressions, you have the opportunity, I guess, if you're aware enough to peer back and see into their way of seeing, the UFO intelligence way of seeing, which is seem to us greater, right? Um, in, in ways, again, I guess this is all going to be speculative and um, subjective. But, you know, consider this an idea to play with. So you have that entrainment effect. So if they're up here, you know, entrainment goes like this. So, you know, you have the two awarenesses in training until they equalize, basically, and they reach a coherence. Um, so I think that entrainment idea is relative here and how uh, contact experience can bring it about an arising and passing and what I'm going to go hyperbolic and say stream entry, which I don't think a contact experience 99% of the time is going to have people on a stream entry level near death experience very close to that, I would say. Um, but um, arising and passing over here. Definitely. I've seen a lot of people where they have that contact experience, whether it's one or just several initial ones, and that's the point of no return in some regards, although it doesn't create that permanent shift to stream entry, it's started them. So there's, there's still, in a sense, no going back, but you don't have that whole progress of insight map where you're stabilized in this new level of awakening. Again, this is, uh, I'll probably make a lot more videos on this because I find it as a fascinating topic. Uh, maybe I'll do a chapter on it in a book. Um, so the progress of insight map and contact, contact and stream entry can contact work as a catalyst for awakening and can contact be, um, yeah, again, a catalyst for awakening for people. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes, definitely, possibly. Thank you guys. Take care.